New in 3DS Max 2012 is Nitrous, a new viewport system engineered to help provide dramatic improvements in performance and visual quality. Nitrous is a graphics core that leverages accelerated GPUs and multi-core workstations to enable you to work faster and handle larger datasets with limited impact on scene interactivity. The render quality viewport display supports unlimited lights, soft shadows, ambient occlusion, reflections, tone mapping, and higher quality transparency. Its progressive refinement of image quality without blocking changes to the scene help you make better creative decisions in the context of your final output. In addition to its vibrant realism, the Nitrous Accelerated Graphics Core supports non-photoreal rendering modes as well, both real-time in the viewport and via the Quicksilver renderer. If we go to the viewport label dropdown and choose Stylize, you see we have a number of presets to choose from that will change the style of our rendering within the viewport. So for example, we can choose graphite. We get a graphite effect. We choose colored ink, perhaps a pastel, and then maybe even colored pencil. And we can also see that this will translate to the rendering. So I'll bring up the Quicksilver renderer, choose the rendering tab, so you can see that we can choose any of the non-photoreal presets from the drop-down as well. So we'll leave it at colored pencil, we'll illuminate with scene lights, and we'll go ahead and render it. And there's our colored pencil rendering via Quicksilver. So the stylized rendering coupled with the realistic rendering of the Nitrous Accelerated Graphics Core really allows you to streamline your workflows and work closer to the finished product.